Today we're going to look at the Mid-Ocean Ridge. I can relate plate tectonics to the formation of crustal features. We're going to start out with a video of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. While well, some plates crash together, others tear apart. It happens under the ocean like here, in the middle of the Atlantic. Lava erupts at the boundary between two crustal plates, sealing the tear. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 10,000 mile tear on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. The ridge is a line of underwater volcanoes, and it's here that new oceanic crust is formed. It stretches from the South Atlantic all the way to Iceland, north, where it rises above sea level. From the air, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is an awesome sight. This dramatic scar in the landscape marks the boundary between the North American crustal plate on the left side and the European plate on the right. The gap between ocean plates is filling in at a rate of an inch a year. Part of the restless movement of the Earth's crust that's reshaping our world. Divergent boundary. These are plates moving apart. This is where the mid ocean ridge forms at a divergent boundary. Where oceanic plates separate or diverge, ocean bins are created. 85% of Earth's volcanic eruptions occur along divergent boundaries. Many small earthquakes happen along these boundaries. As the plates move apart, magma rises from the mantle to fill the empty space. In this way, the plates grow as they separate and new crust is formed. In the Atlantic, the boundary divides the ocean basin almost exactly in half. This boundary is called the Mid-Ocean Ridge. This term means that there's a range of volcanic mountains running through the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Mid-Ocean Ridges are chains of volcanoes. When continental crust separates, rift valleys form, like the African Rift Valley. So it depends on the type of crust. If it's an oceanic, oceanic crust, you're going to get a Mid-Ocean Ridge. If it's a continental, continental crust, you'll get a rift valley, like the African Rift Valley in Africa. So to summarize, divergent boundary is the boundary between two tectonic plates that are moving away from each other. The crustal formation depends on the plates that are diverging. So again, your direction of your movement is in opposite directions. If it's continental, continental, you get a rift valley. If it's oceanic, oceanic, you're gonna get the mid-ocean ridge, like down below. And here also is a picture of those underwater volcanoes in the Atlantic Ocean. So give me three summarization. The first fact from the reading is the second fact from the reading is, the third fact from the reading is. Use the sentence stems above and write a paragraph on a separate piece of paper summarizing your facts. So you guys can type that right here in the yellow box. You're gonna give me the first fact of the reading, second fact of the reading, and the third fact of the reading. So let's analyze some of these maps. So here you can faintly see that mid-ocean ridge on this map. And then here you can see it with the red lines. Here um, it's faint in this picture. You have the arrows indicating it's a divergent boundary. So we can imagine that the North American continent is moving away from the Eurasia continent. Here is a picture of the Mid-Ocean Ridge in action. Then here you see it faintly. 
right here, this is a nice picture. It's also indicating the newest crust is being formed at a divergent boundary because remember, magma is coming up and forming um, volcanic mountains under the water. Let's analyze the map above and use the reading to draw valid conclusions about geological features. So describe the type of plate boundary and crusts interacting at this location. So the maps that we just saw above here, this would be a divergent boundary, right? So we would get a divergent boundary with oceanic crust diverging with oceanic crust. Processes. Describe the process that occurs at this location. So the process is at the divergent boundary, magma is coming up out of the cracks and forming that mid-ocean ridge. So your geological formation as a result of the type of plate boundary and crust processes that occur at this location, what conclusion can be made about the geological feature formed at this location? So your geological feature is that mid-ocean ridge. Uh, we also get volcanoes, right? Underwater mountains. Connection. Let's look at a star test question. The mid-ocean ridge is located at the boundary of two tectonic plates. Which diagram correctly models the relative plate motion on each side of a mid-ocean ridge? So if we look here, you can see this is your ridge, and we know diverging means dividing, going away from. So we can say the answer is B, because a divergent boundary, they are dividing away from each other. Connection question. What geological feature would most likely form at a mid-ocean ridge? So here, this dark line is indicating a mid-ocean ridge. We know uh, volcanoes would most likely form at a mid-ocean ridge. And for our exit today, we're going to look at one more star test question. Rift valleys can form where fractures in Earth's crust widen. The valley walls slowly move at a rate of only a few milliliters, millimeters a year. Describe the type of tectonic activity that forms at a rift valley. Give an example. So here is a satellite image of a rift valley. It's on a divergent boundary. So it's a continental crust, continental crust dividing. So an example would be Africa, the African rift valley. You have part of the continent dividing away from the other part of the continent.